from the second book of Samuel. The Lord's anger against Israel flared again, and he incited David against the Israelites by prompting him to number Israel and Judah. Accordingly, the king said to Joab and the the leaders of the army who were with him, Tore all the tribes of Israel from Dan to Beersheba and register the people, that I may know their number. But Joab said to the king, May the Lord your God increase the number of people a hundredfold for your royal majesty to see it with his own eyes. But why does it please my lord the king to order a thing of this kind? The king, however, overruled Joab and the leaders of the army, so they left the king's presence in order to register the people of Israel. Afterward, however, David regretted having numbered the people and said to the Lord, I have sinned grievously in what I have done. But now, Lord, forgive the guilt of your servant, for I have been very foolish. When David rose in the morning, the Lord had spoken to the prophet Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and say to David, This is what the Lord says. I offer you three alternatives. Choose one of them and I will inflict it on you. Gad then went to David to inform him. He asked, Do you want a three years famine to come upon your land, or to flee from your enemy three months while he pursues you, or to have a three days pestilence in your land? Now consider and decide what I must reply to him who sent me. David answered Gad, I am in a very serious difficulty. Let us fall by the hand of God, for he is most merciful. But let me not fall by the hand of man. Thus David chose the pestilence. Now it was the time of the wheat harvest when the plague broke out among the people. The Lord sent a pestilence over Israel from morning until the time appointed, and 70,000 of the people from Dan to Beersheba died. But when the angel stretched forth his hand toward Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord regretted the calamity and said to the angel, causing the destruction among the people, Enough now, stay your hand. The angel of the Lord was then standing at the threshing floor of Arana, the Jebusite. When David saw the angel who was striking the people, he said to the Lord, It is I who have sinned, it is I, the shepherd, who have done wrong. But these are sheep, what have they done? Punish me and my kindred. On the same day, Gad went to David and said to him, Go up and build an altar to the Lord, on the threshing floor of Arana, the Jebusite. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for 50 silver shekels. Then David built an altar there to the Lord and offered holocausts and peace offerings. The Lord granted relief to the country and the plague was checked in Israel. 